to the next university. We have American University Bahrain with Ms. Amel Ehlin. Ms. Amel. Hello, everyone. Hello, hi, welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much for having us uh, today and for inviting me to this uh, to present our programs and our university to to the young uh, students. We are very excited to have this opportunity. Uh, I'll be going through um, uh, this these slides. However, feel free uh, to um, chip in and type in questions in the chat. Uh, as well as uh, speak up, there will be points in time where I'm going to stop and ask you if you have questions. I'm not going to leave it till the end because there are points in time when I feel things are might not be clear. Stop for a moment and ask if you have questions and then move on. I should have an hour and I'll do my best to cover the information in the hour. So uh, my name is Emil Awadi and I am the Director of Student Affairs, uh, which means that I take care of the student life cycle, whole life cycle, um, starting from admission. So I also overlook admission. Uh, let me uh, give you an overview of the university. So the American University of Bahrain is uh, relatively new. We were established in 2019. Um, we are a private university, but what makes us special or what makes us different is that we are, um, uh, we have a group of investors investing in this project. Uh, out of those are uh, Montelakat, uh, Montelakat al Bahrain. Um, so the sovereign fund is backing us up, which gives us a lot uh, of uh, opportunities and uh, adds value not only to us as an institution but to the students in terms of the network uh, of uh, institutions or let's say uh, possible employers that the students can uh, train with or you know end up with as an employee so while we are a private institution I think it's very important for you and for your parents to be aware that we are backed up. One of our key investors is Montelakat, uh, which is the sovereign fund uh, in Bahrain. Uh, the um, American University is located in Rafah, and we have a wonderful campus. So I highly recommend uh, that you uh, do pay us a visit. And this. Uh, slide you can see pictures uh, of some of the some of the um, uh, sceneries uh, on our campus. Uh, however, the the it's hard to give justice to that campus, and uh, we highly recommend that you come and visit us in person. Um, I would guarantee you that uh, you will like the campus. You will like what you see. Uh, if you can't visit us in person, then now uh, you can always. Uh, go for the virtual tour uh, uh, the, that is mentioned in the slide. Uh, so you can go to our website and do uh, um, a virtual tour. The virtual tour will allow you to navigate throughout the different uh, aspects inside uh, the buildings and outside the buildings uh, to, to view the campus. So the heart of an American style education, um, or what does it mean to work in a university or to study at a university where we offer an American style education or American style learning experience? What is really important uh, to realize when it comes to American style uh, education is the concept of uh, the uh, the general education program or the general education component, uh, that is the building or the main building block for all programs at the university. So um, in the American style education, all students do common courses that focus on providing you with general information about uh, different aspects or different areas of knowledge, including science, math, social science, um, and build uh, the basic skills that you need in order to be successful. Most students will do these courses in year one and year two. So during year one and year two, the majority of the subjects that you'll be doing are gonna be common subjects that uh, all students in, in the university do 
and you will do some of the program subjects that uh, you selected as well. Why do we do that? For two reasons. We do that because um, the research suggests that most students change major within the first two years. So students do change major and having those core or let's say common courses during the first two years uh, ensure that you don't lose credits. You are not penalized for changing your mind and changing um, the major that you are interested in. Two, because we would like you to widen your horizon. At this moment in time, you're a, you're a school student. You might think that you are interested in engineering or you might think that you are interested in business. You only get to know that when you come to university and start to experience some of those subjects. And maybe while you, you think now that you are interested in engineering, once you start uh, you know, trying some of the courses in engineering, you realize that it's not your cup of tea. It's actually not fit for you. It's not the passion that you, ha you thought you had. So the general education program uh, allows students to change and shift course, shift from one uh, program to another without being penalized, which is very, very important. And uh, the other aspect of uh, of the program or the structure of the curriculum in the American style education is that within the same college, there are also some common courses that we call core. So the first layer, all students at the university do general education courses. Now within the college, there are core components that are important to know within that area that all students within the same uh, college will do. For example, if you are an engineering student, there are core courses in engineering that all engineering course, engineering students would do. If you're a business student, there are core courses in business that all business students will do and so on. Then uh, the structure of the curriculum will allow you to take professional electives and additional courses uh, within the subject area that you are interested in. All our programs have uh, capstone projects or internships uh, because we believe in employability skills and we believe in ensuring that all of our students get the opportunity to apply knowledge before graduating. So the heart of the American style education is what we call the general education uh, curriculum or a general education program. What I think is very important to know about American style is that it's very flexible. So I already mentioned one aspect of that flexibility, which allows students to change majors easily without losing much credit or without being penalized for uh, changing their majors. Another aspect of flexibility is that you can uh, control your own pace. The minimum number of credits you can register in uh, for a full-time student is 12 credits, and the maximum number of credits you can register in as a full-time student is 18 credits. So the lowest is four courses and the highest six courses. As a student, you may play within that range to slow down your progress or speed up. Um, at the same time, we also offer summer courses. So most of our degrees uh, are uh, designed to, to, to be completed in, a, in, a, in four years time. Um, so if you decide to slow down in a semester or two, you can always pick up in the summer. So that structure gives a lot of flexibility for the students. You can also have your own uh, schedule. Uh, every student can have their own individualized schedule which means that you can control the courses that you, uh, that you take. So that element of flexibility is really evident and you can, you can really feel it when you uh, enroll in an American style uh, program. All right, we focus a lot on, before I take the question, Dania, uh, we focus a lot on what we call soft skills. Um, the, the 
courses that you will be taking or the curriculum that you will be taking will provide you with the hard skills. Hard skills are technical skills um, related directly to the major you, you chose for yourself. So the hard skills of being a mechanical engineer or being um, a specialist in finance and so on, or in HR. These, these skills by default, you expect yourself to give them when you go to university. In the American style, we focus equally on soft skills. Soft skills are, um, let's say, interpersonal skills uh, that are important for your success as an individual, as an employee, such as communication, presentation, um, um, persuasion, um, uh, problem solving, creativity, those soft skills are not taught in a course, but we provide our students with ample, with multiple opportunities to build these skills through uh, activities, extracurricular activities, and so on. Yes, Dania, please shoot me with the question. Um, do you have art and design? We do have multimedia design. I will, I will share a slide where you can see the programs that we offer. So the closest uh, I, I can think of at our university at the moment is multimedia design. Okay, so it's, it, it's art, but in computer, right? It's basically not only art. So this is what makes our multimedia design uh, program very special. You get to learn how to do art, digital art, but you also get to do uh, videography, audio, uh, videography, uh, audio production. So you learn all aspects of media and the bachelor degree that you will graduate in is going to be a BA, a bachelor of arts. Oh, okay, so how much is the fees? I will answer all these questions, Dania, uh, but approximately it's about 6,000 dinars uh, per uh, year, per year. Oh, so let me okay. move on in our slides and okay, I'll be able to, I will address, thank you, Dania, for interacting with me. So I will be moving on in the slides and I'll be able to address many of these questions. Uh, let me ask you a question. Can you see my, my full slide or is anything that is blocking the slide? Can you see the full slide clearly? Yes? Yes, we can. We can see the full slide. Sorry? Yes, you can see the full slide? Yes, we can see it. Yes. Oh, okay, great. Okay, great. I'm just checking the view from your end because um, from my end, it looks a little bit different. Okay, so our faculty, just like any American university in the United States, uh, we have a very diverse uh, faculty, a very diverse academic team. So some of them are American, some of them are Bahraini, some of them are uh, Australian, some of them are from elsewhere. Um, it's, a, it's an international group of faculty teaching you. What they have in common is that all of our uh, full-time faculty are uh, PhD holders, so they hold a doctorate. Uh, in their relevant field, and they are familiar with the American style education. So they either taught in universities that are American, or they graduated from universities that are American. Actually, our faculty are brilliant. I highly encourage you to come and visit us uh, to meet them. Uh, there are uh, opportunities for, for students to come and meet uh, our faculty throughout the year. So we, we always uh, announce these opportunities on our social media if you follow us. Dual modality, because of the, of the pandemic, uh, we have been uh, running our programs uh, in dual modality, which means that the uh, classes are offered on campus and online at the same time students have the flexibility of attending courses either online or on campus any day. So 
perhaps at your schools, you need to declare whether you will attend the semester online or face-to-face. -face. While at our university, you don't have to make that declaration. You can, uh, you know, if you're feeling great and you're feeling uh, good about yourself, you're not worried about your health, you can directly go on and come to campus. And we have a huge campus. We're a new university, the number of students is small. So we're great in social distancing. Um, and uh, otherwise, uh, another day you feel a little bit under the weather, you're not comfortable, you can choose to uh, take your class uh, from home, the faculty member will be on campus, they ha we have a technical setup where each and in each uh, classroom there are two cameras, you'll be able to see the faculty member and you'll be able to see the students and accordingly you're not losing out. So we're able to run with this dual modality setup right from the beginning. So we did not miss a day uh, when it came to um, the pandemic. And of course, we always follow the instructions and guidelines by the Ministry of Health and the Higher Education Council. Yes, this is the list of our programs. We have three colleges uh, at the American University of Bahrain. Uh, the College of Architecture and Design, very interestingly, ironically, we don't offer architecture yet. <laughs> we only offer a Bachelor of Arts in Multimedia Design. Uh, under the College of Business, we are offering um, a Bachelor in Finance and Management and Human Resources Management and in digital marketing and social media, which seems to be very, very attractive to students these days. Uh, under the College of Engineering, our biggest college, we offer uh, degrees in computer engineering, computer science, industrial engineering, uh, which is a unique program, by the way. No other university in Bahrain offer a degree in industrial engineering. Um, and a degree in mechanical engineering and civil engineering. Now, um, do you have questions about any particular program listed on these slides, on, on this particular slide? Yeah, go ahead, Zane. Um, hi, yes. I wanted to ask, uh, will there be an, any architecture program anytime soon or... To be very honest with you, Zane, we already have an approval from the Higher Education Council for an architecture design, but um, we decided not to run the program because, um, you know, all of our degree programs can be finished in four years. If you do a proper architecture uh, degree uh, based on the American accreditation guidelines, it takes five or more years to complete. The infrastructure that is needed is very, very complex. So we decided to keep it on hold for the time being. So I'm really sorry to say, but I don't see it coming in 2022. So it's not something that we'll be offering in September 2022. Yes, uh, Donna, go ahead, ask. Yeah, hi. Uh, do industrial engineering consider as an IT or uh, like... It's a Bachelor of Science. So it's a Bachelor of Science in Industrial Engineering. Uh, what you learn in that program is how do um, industrial institution plan their processes? So basically, if I am running a factory, how do I manage the process that goes inside the factory? What is step number one? What is step number two? How can I minimize um, um, waste? How can I increase efficiency? So it's more like, how do you manage the industrial process? I hope that this is uh, clear. I try to make it, um, to explain it in a nutshell. Uh, if you are interested in any of these programs, you may visit our website, perhaps after the session, I can uh, share the link on the website, but you can go to our website and you will see the program plan, the study plan for every single program on our website. You can see the courses and the subjects listed. Uh, Donald Bin Khalil, go ahead. Or did you already ask a question, sorry. 
Sorry, Dania is uh, just asked a question. So Dania, Dania, go ahead. Ask your question. Um, if like I want art and design, right? But yes. but um, I I I choose to make three subjects. Like not one. I want to make three subjects. Can is that doable or no? I don't understand your question, Dania. So. Um, if you want art and design, we don't offer a degree in art. We offer a multimedia design uh, degree and we don't do minors. So at the moment we only offer majors. We don't offer minors. I hope that I, I, I answered the question. If I didn't, perhaps, uh, um, at the end of this session, I'll leave my, my email and contact details of our admission team. You are more than welcome to come and visit us or have a one-to-one -one virtual meeting uh, together, uh, Dania. Any other questions? I don't think that there are other questions, so maybe we can move on. A question that everybody asks us, especially parents, uh, is your university accredited? And the answer is yes. <laughs> of course, we cannot operate in the Ministry of, or we cannot operate in Bahrain unless we are licensed by the Higher Education Council. مجلس التعليم العالي. يعني لما تخرجون بتتخرجون عندكم ورقة مكتوب فيها إن هذه الشهادة معترف فيها في البحرين. هذه الشهادة. Uh, is um, recognized by the Ministry of Education. So that's the first step of accreditation or we are licensed by the Ministry or by the um, Higher Education Council. Of course, this is not enough for us because we are an American university. Uh, so we are at the moment seeking accreditation from WASC. Uh, the WASC is the, uh, the, like the regional accreditation body that uh, governs the quality of uh, universities, very, very key universities such as Berkeley and others uh, in the United States. Uh, we are going through the process of accreditation and we anticipate to complete the accreditation requirements by, uh, uh, by uh, March, 2023. So by the time you, uh, uh, you join, uh, depending on whether you are a senior or, uh, or you're in grade 11, the, uh, we will we'll have the accreditation. We already uh, completed the first and second steps in the accreditation process. Um, the reason why accreditation takes time because any entity that provide uh, accreditation uh, ask that at least one cohort of students graduate from the university before uh, we, they, they provide us with accreditation. And we've been, the process that we've been through is very, very smooth so far. We already had a visitor, uh, a reviewer from us coming to our university in Bahrain and they were very pleased with what they saw. So we anticipate that we get the accreditation by uh, March 2023. What does that mean? It means that um, graduating from the American University of Bahrain in Bahrain, I will provide you with a degree that is recognized not only in Bahrain, it is recognized everywhere. So as if you graduated from the United States. Um, Akashia, yes, go ahead, ask your question. Hello. Hello, hi. Yeah, uh, I have a doubt, like in Bachelor's of Business Administration and Digital Marketing and Finance, what do we actually learn or what we dive into? Digital Marketing? Okay, yes. so so in the, uh, in the Digital Marketing uh, degree, uh, let me go back. Here it is, so that everybody's following the same uh, slide. In the Digital Marketing and Social Media degree, you will obviously learn some core subjects in business. So like any business student will learn a little bit of accounting, a little bit of economics, a little bit of management, operational management and so on. But you will learn more in depth uh, about marketing, about digital strategy, 
uh, about, uh, you know, how to gather information and make marketing decisions for companies using that information. You may go to our website and you will find the study plan posted on our website to have a view of uh, all the, uh, the courses listed in the degree program. And if you would like us to arrange for you a meeting with the college, we'll be more than happy to do that. So going back to accreditation, we are already uh, we are already licensed by the Higher Education Council. We are going through the process of accreditation with WASC. Uh, we are already a member in CHIA, the Council for Higher Education um, uh, and Accreditation in the United States. So that's already done. What is very exciting about us is the fact that we are um, de developing a partnership with uh, uh, CSUN, California State um, uh, University um, 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 in, at Northridge. It's the biggest government or state-owned uh, um, system of universities in the United States. They have about half a million students at any given time, any given year. Uh, and we are collaborating with them, specifically the campus at Northridge, uh, because we would like to give students options, because we want our students uh, to have options if they would like to go and study in the United States. So at the moment, students may uh, do the full degree with us in Bahrain, the four years in Bahrain. But through this a partnership, students will also have the option to do two years in Bahrain and two years in the United States or three years in Bahrain and one year in the United States. For some families, uh, this will allow them to save money. So it's obviously studying in the United States is, uh, uh, is uh, more expensive than studying in, in Bahrain when you count the tickets, the accommodation, all the additional expenses, um, it's, it's more expensive. So it, it allows those families to manage their budget. It also allows some families to feel comfortable sending their child you uh, abroad to the United States when the child is um, 20 instead of 18. Uh, the reason why we chose uh, CSUN in particular, we chose CSUN, California State University, of course, because it's also accredited by WASC, the same accreditation body that uh, we are seeking accreditation with, but also because there is, um, uh, they, they have a similar vision uh, uh, um, in, in comparison to us than other universities. So we have a lot in common in terms of our values and our vision and mission. They also focus on employability. They also target uh, the average student. So we're not targeting only the elites, those who graduate with 95 or 99 uh, GPA, 99% plus and above. Um, uh, they focus on those students who would like to obtain employability skills and find jobs and, and uh, not only in the local market, but internationally. Uh, in terms of fees, they are similar. Um, uh, their fees are similar to us. The study fees are similar to us. But of course, there will be additional cost of travel and accommodation. Um, WASC is the same uh, accreditation body that, uh, uh, as I mentioned, uh, accredits uh, you know, big and well-known universities in the United States. Uh, I already mentioned Berkeley, Stanford is another one, and Concordia is another one. So we're very excited about this partnership. Even if you don't want to do a two plus two or a three plus one, uh, degree programs, you will benefit from this partnership as we will bring in faculty from uh, CSUN uh, um, to teach our students virtually or in person. Uh, you can benefit from summer programs. At the moment, we're offering uh, summer programs through CSUN uh, partnership as well with students for, you know, spend the summer there and come back. Yes, Dania, go ahead, ask. 
I'm studying art is how many years again? Sorry. <laughs> Four years, but we don't offer art, Dania. I have a feeling that it's better for us to have a one-to-one -one meeting, Dania. I think so too. <laughs> we will have a one-to-one -one meeting, Dania. We'll, we'll keep in touch after this meeting. Ali Fahmi, go ahead, shoot me. <laughs> Ali, I can't hear you. Ali, I can't uh, hello, okay. hear you. Yes, yes. Uh, so is your degree from like outside, like for example, the BUB or is it your own degree? No, it's different. Our model is very different from BUB and BIBF. So the degree that you will graduate with, if you graduate, from us here in Bahrain is going to be from the American University of Bahrain. It's a local degree, but has American accreditation. If you choose to do three plus one or two plus two, so part of your degree program is done at CSUN, California State University, then your degree will be issued by CSUN. So it depends on the institution that you will graduate from. If you graduate from us, you will graduate with our degree. If you do part of your degree at CSUN, you will graduate from CSUN. You will get a degree uh, that has CSUN logo on it. But we are already uh, working on our American accreditation, which makes both uh, degrees equal. Uh, and I have another question. Yes. Uh, is the island uh, needed for uh, applying? Definitely. Or? Definitely, there will be a slide about admission requirements, but we do require students to have English language proficiency and IELTS score of six or equivalent. Oh, okay, thank you. Welcome. So moving on, let me see if this video is gonna work. Can you hear the audio? No, unfortunately. أستاذ أمل بس ما في صوت أوكي طلع أن أنتم ما كنتوا تسمعون <تصفيق> وما أدبين ساكتين ما قاعدين تقولون أنه ما قاعدين تسمعون زين مو مشكلة ايش رايك نصرة ان انا عقب ال ال session I share with you the slides وانت you can share it with the, all the students على اساس ان ما ارد اعيد الفيديو مره ثانيه اكيد حبيبتي اكيد وحتى you can yes اذا كان link we can add it في ال Uh, yeah, we can we can do that. Uh, the, the purpose of that video, I'm very sorry that you were not able to hear because uh, the, the audio makes a huge difference. We're supposed to give you a glimpse of one of the events that we run at AUBH. AUBH, or what really signifies, uh, differentiates us uh, from other universities, is that 
we have a very active student life. So it's part of uh, uh, the American style education. We have very, very active student life. Our students engage in various activities. One of our biggest activities that we run on annual basis is the president run. This year we had about 275 runners from all around the country coming and participating. We have a student council that organizes events throughout. Uh, let it be, I don't know, uh, yoga classes, dancing classes. We have many clubs, car club, uh, mental health and counseling club, uh, cinema club. They gather and watch movies and discuss movies. Um, so uh, we have lots and lots of activities. The amount of activities that we run on campus is unbelievable. Uh, I can guarantee you that you will have lots of fun if you decide to be part of that experience. So it's um, uh, the, the dynamics is quite nice because the university, although we have a big campus, but the campus size is, is just right so that it's not huge to the extent that you get lost. You always have that community uh, connection. And at the moment, the number of students is small. We have around 300 students. So we know everybody, everybody knows everybody, and they always engage in activities throughout the year. Even now, uh, yesterday, uh, the students did their last uh, exam. Um, before exams, they had the national day and the barbecue night. They had a wonderful barbecue night, I must say. And uh, tomorrow they're gonna have um, uh, you know, a movie night uh, just to celebrate finishing exams and so on. So we have a, an active, an active uh, student life, an active student council. You can run for election and nominate yourself as a member. My favorite event of this year was a picnic day. So we have a soccer field a green soccer field, the students had uh, different separate arrangements and on each arrangement there was a basket, a sandwiches, snacks, um, art kits, students drawing together. It was a very nice, I, I found it to be cute to be honest. Uh, so that was my favorite activity uh, uh, until now at least. And we always have those big events such as the President Run. In March, we are gonna have the International Day and we will be sending invitations to school students to participate in that, in that day. Now, moving back to admission and admission requirements, we have two main uh, uh, or two uh, uh, criteria for entry. One, um, a GPA of 75% of equivalence, depending on your school. So some schools use um, a four points uh, GPA system and some use a percentage. We ask for 75% or equivalent. Normally in the four point scale, it's 2.3 or 2.4, depending on your school, um, is what is equivalent to 75%. We also ask for English language proficiency, as I mentioned. Uh, IELTS score of six is the requirement. If you score less than six, uh, then we ask you to retake the test. Uh, and if by July, let's say uh, just a month or let's say July, August, you still couldn't improve your score, then we enroll you in an English language program to improve your English language before moving on into the degree program. If taking an IELTS is a hassle and uh, taking an IELTS take a very long time for you to get the results back, we do offer an online uh, test that is equivalent. We call it lingua, no, 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 we call it the, the name of the test is lingua skill um, uh, by Cambridge. Uh, you can do it online, virtually. You can divide the sessions, so reading and writing and uh, listening and speaking. You can divide the session so that you don't do three or four hours of assessment in one day. So it's much more convenient than the IELTS because you can break it down upon your convenience. And you can even do the speaking online. It's, it's quite uh, convenient to people, but 
in, in terms of assessment, it is equivalent to the IELTS. So it's not easier than the IELTS. It is equivalent to the IELTS in terms of uh, assessment and skills. You can use the results to enter our university. Uh, if you would like to use the results to enter other universities, then you need to ask those other universities if they would accept it. Uh, yes, Dania, ask. Ask your question. Um, if we don't have IELTS exam, can we still enter the university or no? No, <laughs> you can't. You have to have an English proficiency test result. So either go ahead and, and, and you know, register for your IELTS exam, or uh, alternatively, you can come to AUBH or online book and, and English language test online and do the lingua skill instead, uh, which will also uh, you know, allow you to, uh, to register. I heard in the previous session, some students asking questions about IB. We do give exemptions for IB, A-level and AP students. So if you are doing any of those three uh, uh, programs at the moment at your school, uh, we do give exemptions, but your exemption depends on the program that you are uh, rolling in. Um, so basically we compare, we look at the score you obtained in IB, A-level and uh, AP, uh, and uh, we compare it, uh, we compare the subjects that you took, uh, which subjects do they match, and then we get, exempt you from some subjects. The maximum number of exemptions you can get is six courses or what is equivalent to 18 credits. So that's in case any of you are currently taking IB, A-level or AP. Uh, the exemption for IB starts from uh, five points and above. So you need to score a five or above in order to get uh, an exemption. The fees, I already said that approximately our fees um, are 6,000 BD per year. Uh, that's approximately depending on the number of credits that you register in. Part of our flexibility, we do really believe in flexibility, is that we charge per credit and it's 200 BD per credit. So if you're doing 12 subjects, the cost will be 2,400 if you're doing 15. Uh, credits, you will be uh, 3,000 per semester and accordingly 6,000 dinar per year. So it all depends. There are some uh, additional, uh, uh, you know, fees that are listed here. Uh, but to be honest, uh, other than what you pay in those fees, we don't ask students to pay uh, additional, uh, you know, there are no hidden agendas, no hidden uh, tuitions and fees other than those listed in those um, uh, in the slide. So approximately it costs about 6,000 dinar per year uh, to study at AUBH. We do offer scholarships and our scholarships are uh, very comprehensive and very, very competitive. So last year we received 51 applications uh, for our scholarships. Uh, students go through a selection process, uh, interview, problem solving tests, uh, they submit a portfolio um, and um, you know, shortlisted students are then interviewed by a second panel because the, the scholarships that we offer are very comprehensive. You know, uh, some of our scholarships cover um, tuition, pocket money, uh, internships, uh, so much more than just uh, the fees. And some of them, depending on how you rank in the process, some of them can be partial, can be 50% uh, scholarship also. Other than our scholarships, every year we offer seats to the Ministry of Education. So you can also apply to the Ministry of Education scholarships and uh, we will be listed uh, as part of their, um, uh, of their plans. Any questions about scholarships or admission? So uh, when is the deadline for applying to the, uh, to the scholarship? Does it have an early deadline? Uh, no, not an early, it's, it's, 
in comparison to the normal deadline for application, it's early. It's uh, June. It's uh, already published on our website. I think it's uh, 17 or 16 of June, something like that. Uh, but I will post the link to our website. I keep saying this, but as I'm doing the, the presentation, it's, uh, it's a little bit, I, I don't multitask. So once yeah, I'm done with this presentation, I'll, play, uh, I'll, I'll post the link to our website and you'll be able to find the information. Follow on it, but it's not gonna be earlier than 10th of June. Um, the application, as I said, for our scholarship is very, very competitive. So, and we only offer limited seats, like 10, 12 seats of scholarships every year. So it's very important that uh, you do uh, apply on time. And there is also a leaflet with all the requirements on our website, our scholarship page. Yeah, I've seen it, yeah. Yeah, it tells you exactly what you need to do. All right, thank you. Thank you. Jasmine, go ahead, Jasmine. Hi, uh, I want to ask about how the scholarships are working and how are you going to take the opportunity of them? So first, you need to apply to us. OK, uh, the question about when do you apply? Uh, the answer for that question is as soon as you have your uh, first semester result from grade 12, you can apply. So at the moment, you either finished the first semester or you're waiting for your results by, by early February uh, for the first semester if you are in grade 12. Uh, as soon as you have your first semester results from grade 12, you can apply and we can evaluate your application. However, you can only register once you graduate from university. So we take you through the application process. And if you are interested in a scholarship, so after applying, filling in an online application, you need to go to our scholarship page and look at the other requirements, which include submitting a portfolio of achievements. So you need to show us that you are really a unique student. You know, being, uh, you know, uh, a bookworm, being a nerd is important. You need to have a, a GPA of 90% or above. However, what is more important to us as a university is that you have a character, you have a personality, you have something different to offer us. So we offer our scholarships to students who will add value to the student life. So if you are interested in sports, uh, mention that. If you are an artist, a uh, digital artist, mention that. Show us examples. If you are somebody who's into charity and social and community work, show us that. So you need to showcase what to make you different, what to make you stand out as a, as a student. And during the interview, you need to be able to communicate. So practicing um, uh, practicing, uh, uh, you know, talking about yourself and your achievements is very important. Do that at home, uh, uh, and um, it's it's going to help when it comes to the to the process. We'll also ask you to do a problem solving test. We we'll also look at your GPA, but your GPA only counts for ten percent of the overall evaluation. It's really the portfolio and the interview that uh, make um, uh, you know the difference. Yes, I have many hands up. Tia, Tia if I'm not reading your name correctly, Tia, go ahead. Yes, hello. Um, if I got an offer, when approximately would I get news about when I should do the interview? So if, uh, you, you know, once, you, once we reach the deadline for the scholarship, Okay, we will send you an email telling you about the timeline, how things will work. So normally the deadline for application for the scholarship is around mid-June, okay? Uh, the uh, problem solving test, we normally do it right uh, first week of July. And we either schedule your interview before the problem solving test or after the problem solving test. It takes about six weeks start from the deadline for you to know if you got the scholarship or not. Um, At least six for weeks. the scholarship, 
like the normal uh, admissions? Oh, the normal admission. Uh, once you go through the interview, so once you apply, we invite you for an interview. Usually it takes like few days for you to be invited for an interview. Um, and then uh, you get your offer and uh, can register once you get your, uh, uh, your, your um, uh, high, school, uh, high school grades out. So the normal process, if you're not looking into scholarship, does not take time. Things happen quite quickly, tick, 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 depending on how fast you submit the papers we need. Uh, Maison, go ahead. Hello, I wanted to ask if you offer uh, an interior design course. Unfortunately not, Maison, I'm really sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. Dania, your last question. <laughs> um, I did something called Sylvan and it's also an English program. So it can, uh, but I didn't do IELTS in anything. No, you either do IELTS, TOEFL, or our lingua skill test. If you are doing SATs, they can help because we also take our students through a math placement test to evaluate their level in math, not to accept or reject, but to see if you need a preparatory course in math or not. Other than that, we don't accept any other tests. Okay, moving on. Yes, Maha. Hello. Yes. Um, I have a question. Um, I'm not a full IB student. I have four IB subjects. Yes. Um, can Are I get HL or SL? Um, uh, three HL and one SL. So uh, if you are not doing a full IB, we only look into your HL courses. If you're doing okay. a full IB, we recognize both HL and SL. OK. Okay, thank you. You're almost doing a full IB Mahali. Should say a for Chile. Because um okay, yeah, I need to get good for other science subjects. Okay, no problem. It's never a waste to do an IB courses, to be honest, because they do make a difference. They push you outside your comfort zone. Yes, other yeah. questions. Thank you. Welcome, Maha. Wish you all the best. Other Dear questions. Amen? Uh, yes. Dear Amal, hi. Uh, hi. I think there is a bit of a question list has been piling up in the chat. If you don't in mind the chat. me taking okay, sorry, you. sorry. Uh, no, okay. it's all right. Let me yeah. look at the chat. Uh, if you would like me, I can, uh, I can. You can you read for me some of the questions of that course. I course. Yeah, of please course, go ahead. So uh, there's a question about what about half IB students? Do you get an exception as well? Uh, exactly the answer I just gave Maha. Uh, we yes. If you're doing uh, uh, a half IB, then we recognize HL courses. Okay. Uh, Donna is asking, what does the scholarship provide? It depends. Some of our scholarships cover tuition, pocket money, books, um, uh, potential for employment. Mm -hmm. Some of our scholarships are partial, 50%. So it depends on where you rank in the uh, in the list of applicants. Yes, perfect. I think the rest of the questions has been answered already. Students, do you think that we have covered the questions or do you have a new question you would like to ask? Okay, there is a question about the spring and fall sessions. Yes. Uh, it, it, the question has been asking if you can talk about so that if, a little bit. So if you have already graduated from school, you can apply for the spring uh, starting. Uh, so then second semester or the spring semester starts on the 31st of January. You can apply now. You should apply now <laughs> if you are interested. Uh, but if you are um, a high school student, then you apply for the fall, September, the September start. Okay, fantastic. There is a question from Fatima. Uh, you do uh, take the Ministry of Education scholarship. Yes, we correct? do offer seats to the Ministry of Education, yes. Okay, 
Fantastic. Students, do you have any other questions? There is uh, more five minutes. Please take advantage of this time. Hello? Yes. So I have a question. So if I get a scholarship from the Ministry of Education, do I still have to apply and do an interview? No. So you either apply through our process or the Ministry of Education. Normally students apply to us and the Ministry of Education just in case if they don't get uh, our scholarship, uh, they don't lose the Ministry of Education opportunity. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Any other questions? Yep. All right. For some reason, the chat box disappeared. I want to post the links I was mentioning. Uh, Maybe you need to click on the chat option down here, Ms. Amal. It will appear again. For some reason, it just disappeared. Uh, okay, no problem. Let me just stop sharing now. Thank you very much, Ms. Amal. Thank you. If there Thank is you. any other questions for Ms. Amal and uh, of for the American University. As please. soon as I stopped sharing, the box uh, appeared again. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I will be able to post uh, the links. Yes, uh, yeah. Yeah. Jasmine, Jasmine, do you have a, a quick question before we finish up with American University? Yes. Uh, can I book a tour with them? Of course you can. So what I will do now, I will post in the chat the uh, contact to the, our admission uh, team and you can email the admission and they'll be more than happy to book uh, you uh, um, a tour uh, or have a one-to-one -one, uh, meeting with you. Thank you. Here we go. This is the admission email. Thank you very much, everyone, for your time. Thank you, and Jaz Al Bahrain, for the opportunity. I wish you all a great afternoon. It was a pleasure to have this meeting with you, and looking forward to see you in person. Bye. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Miss uh, Amel, for this wonderful presentation. Uh, and to finish up with American University, uh, we thank you all to move on.